Section twenty point six, the validity of the shell model of an atom. The shell model is inaccurate. The shell model tells you that electrons move on spherical shells around the nucleus. This is not true. First, the one s electron in the hydrogen atom never rotates about the nucleus. Its rotational energy is exactly zero. And two, one cannot measure the position or momentum of the electron in the hydrogen atom or any other atoms accurately. Let me show you the real picture of the one s electron in the hydrogen atom. So over here. Imagine you take one thousand photos for one thousand different hydrogen atoms. In each hydrogen atom, you have a one s electron, and you put the negatives of this one thousand photos together. You superimpose the negatives together. You have this one s orbital. So this is the actual picture. Of the one s electron, this is two s atomic orbital or two s electron. So the two s electron may appear anywhere except on one spherical nodal surface. So when r is equal to two atomic unit of length, there is a nodal surface. The electron may never appear. At that position, when r is equal to two atomic unit. Now、uh, this is actually the two p z atomic orbital. So again, the two p z electron can appear anywhere except on the nodal plane, and this is z equals zero planar nodal surface. Now let's look at the pictures of three s. 3p z and 3d z squared. So this is the 3s atomic orbital, or you can say this is the superposition of the negatives of 1,000 photos of 1,000 hydrogen atoms. In each hydrogen atom, you have a 3s electron. There are two spherical nodal surfaces in this atomic orbital. And over here, this is 3p z. We have one planar nodal surface when z is zero. We have another spherical nodal surface when r is equal to six atomic unit of length. Over here, this is 3d z squared atomic orbital. The wave function is proportional to 3z squared minus r squared. Therefore, when 3z squared is equal to r squared, you have two nodal surfaces. They correspond to z equals plus minus r over the square root of three, because z is equal to r times cosine theta. Therefore, we know when cosine theta is equal to Plus minus one over the square root of three, we have the nodal surfaces. In this case, if you solve cosine theta equals one over square root of three, you get fifty-five degrees. If cosine theta equals negative one over square root of three, you get one hundred twenty-five degrees. So you have to imagine. Two nodal surfaces with a cone shape. So you have one cone here. So imagine this is cone. This lobe is your ice cream. So you have a cone here, right? And the angle between this and the z-axis is 55 degrees. You have another cone upside down. You have your ice cream upside down. The angle is 125 degrees.